All right, everybody, Bryce here, coming at you with another real quick crypto market update. Um, now, headlines are everywhere right now, and they're not necessarily positive in the short term for crypto. As you can see, Binance US is coming under heavy fire uh, by the SEC, along with Binance International. So Binance US, if you guys have money on there, I advise you take it off. I've recommended against going on that platform for years, uh, but if you haven't listened to me, um, well, they just announced that they're ceasing all of their withdrawals um, by, I think it was June 13th or 14th. So double check that. And, and all of this is happening against the backdrop of the SEC just going psycho, right? Gary Gensler uh, coming after Coinbase, coming after all these different exchanges. Um, so we're going to see how this all resolves. But in the meantime, the key is to take your coins off of exchanges and bring them into uh, cold storage, right? Self-custody. Now, I still think Coinbase and I still think Kraken are safe exchanges. Um, I still think those are cream of the crop uh, companies and I still think that they have uh, my vote of confidence. Um, but that being said, you can never be too safe, okay? So that was one thing I wanted to talk about. The other thing is that, guys, uh, Binance US and some other uh, crypto exchanges are delisting some coins, okay? Uh, Solana, Matic, and Cardano are three of the largest coins in the crypto ecosystem that have come under fire uh, from the SEC in some of these court filings. Um, and so that has had some serious sell pressure. Now, I don't want you guys to be freaking out or scared or anything because you have to remember crypto is global, okay? Crypto is not just the United States. In fact, United States is just one small piece of the whole puzzle. Um, Hong Kong is rolling out uh, crypto trading for retail and institutions, um, Singapore, uh, the EU, right? Lots of European uh, countries now have a unified framework for regulating crypto. It's called Mika, M-I-C-A. I encourage you guys to look that up. It's pretty nuanced, but it gives um, issuers of cryptocurrencies and exchanges very clear guidelines of how to participate in the industry. It's something that Coinbase and, and all of these companies in the States have been asking for from regulators for, for years and they haven't gotten it. All they've gotten is regulatory enforcement actions. And so um, there is a new bill that is in Congress right now um, that's being voted on um, and being revised and then voted on, I should say. Um, but it looks like um, the, what the, the clear consensus is, is that the safety in crypto right now is mainly in Bitcoin Ethereum, uh, and I would even put Litecoin in there, okay? So these are, in my opinion, where you should allocate in the short term, um, over the course of the next few weeks or months, um, allocate your assets uh, in those three coins, um, potentially even, you know, going a little further out the risk spectrum with some of the top 10 or 15. But, you know, with all this regulatory headwinds, it's just not a period of time where you want to be going uh, all in on altcoins. If your portfolio is all altcoins and you don't have any Bitcoin or any Ethereum, um, I think you're playing this trade wrong. So, you know, at the end of the day, um, you also have exchanges like Robinhood, which delisted Solana and uh, Cardano, right? And, and, and Matic. And so these are some coins that, um, you know, most people have a lot of uh, change, right? In those coins, uh, a lot of cash. And they're, they've been very popular and they've been great performers during the bull market, but we're in a very transitional period. And I wouldn't be surprised, you know, three to five years down the line, um, if Bitcoin and, you know, Ethereum retain their 60% market share. Um, and, you know, out of the 20,000 cryptocurrencies that exist, you know, maybe 100 or 500 exist, right? So you want to be very, very hyper selective with where your altcoin exposure is. Uh, and again, I, I'm generally recommending the majority of your portfolio in the short term uh, to be allocated to Bitcoin, Ethereum, and uh, even Litecoin, because it seems like those are the assets that, that are out of the crosshairs. Because right now, I mean, I've been in crypto now for about seven to eight years at this point now, and I've never seen uh, the hellfire that has been raining down on crypto and on media headlines like they have in just the past few weeks um, but the good thing is, is that actually you can see right here, this is when the Coinbase and the Binance uh, regulatory news, you know, came out and, and really hit the market. But as you can see, 
the markets are higher than when that news came out. So it tells me that you know the bear market might not have as much downside left as much as it will have some sideways action. The reason being is that bear markets, when they stop going down, when prices stop going down on really bad news, but they kind of stay flat or even go higher a little bit, that's signaling, you know, bears are out of ammo. Okay, their their bears are out of um, supply to dump on the market. Okay, um, and so this to me is a good sign. This to me is a sign that you know we're climbing that wall of worry. Um, so again, short term, some resistances, some chop, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but long term, guys, long term, this market uh, is very clearly headed higher. It's very clearly. Um, you know, wanting to move higher, wanting to get more in uh, under the control of, of the politicians and the big banks and all that kind of stuff, um, which it just goes to show you that this is a powerful technology that a lot of people want their hands on. Um, a lot of people want to have their say in how this uh, market develops, but it just goes to show that you should be buying uh, fundamentally strong cryptocurrencies and altcoins. Um, and don't be scared, right? I mean, we've seen similar... Um, you know, periods of chaos, you know, we survived the Terra Luna $60 billion collapse. We survived the FTX collapse when BlockFi and Celsius and Voyager blew up. There was all sorts of crazy headlines. Don't get scared out of the market. Okay. That's the main message I want to send to you guys today. Um, and if you're looking for a little extra boost of confidence, well, guess what? You're in the right place because uh, next week we are having the digital currency summit. Okay, the Digital Currency Summit is a three day event next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And I want to give you guys a free ticket. I want to give it to you right here, right now. Okay, so if you guys hit that button below, there's a big orange button or hit the link. Um, what, what you're going to do is you're going to sign up and you're going to get a free ticket to our three day event. We're going to have 27 expert crypto speakers talking to you about how they're positioning themselves to capitalize on the next bull market and how they're defending themselves uh, to make sure that they stay in the game uh, as we kind of exit this bear market uh, and head towards the new bull market. Again, don't forget the Bitcoin halving is in April of next year. So we are well on our way. Um, the key is just hanging on for dear life. Again, hit that button below, sign up, three day event. Tickets are totally free and I'm actually going to be giving a live presentation as well. Um, so you don't want to miss that. That's going to be a Wednesday. Um, and guys, that's all. Hope you guys enjoy. And I look forward to seeing you at the Digital Currency Summit next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, free tickets, hit the button below.